All right, you're here to learn how to edit on Premiere Pro better because you're either starting YouTube or maybe you're trying out a new platform. I don't know, not really my business. So let's just get right into it. All right, on Premiere, you're going to head over to your project tab. After you, we'll, we'll start from the beginning, actually. So at home, you'll create a new project. You'll pick a name up here. Uh, you don't have to pick any folders. You can, in any videos, you can add those later. And then you'll click create at the bottom right. I already have one, so we're going to skip that process, go straight to YouTube. Uh, edit tab. Seal, yours should look like this. If it doesn't, you can come up here to the top right, Workspaces. I prefer the Essentials tab. You can figure out what you like best. It should have everything there. If not, you can always add it. But I use the Essentials tab. All right. When you're there, you're going to want to go to your File Explorer. Find your video. Mine's right here. I already dragged it. Seal, drag, and drop that right there. Once it's right there, it'll drag that down to the timeline. It'll add it. I already have one, so I can just delete that. And then uh, you get your video right there. You can hit play on the timeline, so I'll do that real quick. This is a video to cover the essentials of how to edit on Premiere Pro. There should be plenty of time for that. This is a video. Right. Oh, I played it twice. All right, so right there, uh, I don't really need the last segment. So what you can do is push C to open up your razor tool, or you can click it right here. What this does is it cuts things. You can put little cuts right there. Control Z will undo something if you didn't mean to do it. And then if you hold shift, you can cut everything right there. Highlight what you don't want, delete it. This is a video to cover like the essentials of how to edit on Premiere Pro. I just talked over myself. Now my video looks like that. That's three seconds, but I mean, it's an example. Uh, if you want text, you can push T. It's also down here in the bottom left. Put it there, say something, hello. It's that's simple. So there's your text. What I'm going to do instead, though, is show you how to subtitle this. So if you go over to uh, text right here, captions, you can create caption from transcript. So you click that, choose your preferences. Uh, I guess set minimum length in characters to like 20, I guess. Make it so it's a single line or double if that's your preference. You've got room to explore. And I like throwing my minimum duration down to the lowest because 1.2 should be plenty of time to view a single line. Uh, you're going to want either if you're speaking on just audio too. For me, I am, but sometimes I've got another speaker. So I just do a mix of both. That'll determine which of the audio, um, what, what are they called? audio bars in your timeline, which one it'll use to create the text. So you're going to go through all that, click transcribe and create captions. The bar will load over here usually it takes a while, but it's such a short video that it shouldn't be too bad. There we go. That was quick. So now it has every single thing that happened in the video and it'll pop down here at first. This is a video to cover the essentials of how to edit on Premiere Pro. So good example right there, right here. It says get on even though I, I think I said edit. How to edit on. Yeah, so edit. You can double click that or click it up here on the top right. I like that. Change that to edit. We're good. Now when you play This is a video to cover the essentials of how to edit on Premiere Pro. That says from your pro, so we're going to change that to. Yeah. Cool. Those are all done. Uh, what you'll notice here is that it's not actually a graphic on thing it's just subtitles that pop up right there so highlight it all go up to graphics and titles upgrade caption to graphic and that'll pop down here now it's a graphic and then you can highlight all that go over to essential graphics pick your favorite font i usually have one but it looks like i need to refresh my stuff so i'll pick a random one a good one is impact that's a pretty basic one. So we'll click impact. You can throw on a stroke. That's the it's like throwing an outline on your letters. That's better. I like to throw up the size to 10, add a color to it. We'll do a dark blue because that's always nice. All right. So your text is really small. You can come up here to the style and size it up. The text goes big. We'll toss it up to like 100. That's plenty. And then I like to center my text. You can lower it. I'm actually going to lower it because where my face is in that. And that should be all. Then you've got this is a video to cover the essentials of how to edit on Premiere Pro. Oh, your text updated. 
then you can choose one of them, uh, usually the very beginning. Click Effect Controls, and you've got just that single graphic timeline right there. From the very beginning, if you click these little stopwatches, it'll save a checkpoint. So I'll save a position for scale, and we're going to set that to 90, because we're going to create like a, a bouncing letter effect. Click over here on your timeline, your text timeline. Go use the arrows on your keyboard to go right like three frames. Send it up to 110. Right three more frames, and we'll knock it down to 100. Now that text this is a video. kind of bounces in the video. You can highlight all that. Actually, just click on that. And come up here to the vector motion right here. You right click it, can copy. Highlight all that. Control V for paste. This is a and video to cover the essentials of how to edit on Premiere Pro. That's a perfect face to stop on, but now all your text this is, is going to bounce. Stop. Now all your text is going to bounce. So there's that. Uh, what else can we do? All right. Say you've got something like we'll cut right here. Come on, cut. Say you've got something far off from your timeline and you don't want to highlight all that and drag it. You can click this empty space, push delete on your keyboard. Automatically lines up. Again, Control Z takes you back to where you were if you messed up. That's the basics. And um, you want to zoom in or something? This is your scale. You can zoom in. For me, it zooms into the middle because of how my um, recording setup. I actually have. I'll drag another one to the timeline. I actually have it set up like this. So if we shrink it, my face is here on the left, and on the right is usually my gameplay. That allows me to put my camera over the gameplay and move it around. That'll probably be a topic in a different video if this one even gets attention or if you guys are curious on how to do that. But for now, we're not going to put that in this video. So there's all that. And with your zooming, your scale, you can also put a stopwatch on it. So if I put a stopwatch here at 100 and we go towards the end, we can put that up to 200, which will zoom into the right of my face, but that's fine. Another thing you can do is click position, and then you can actually drag that and it'll stay there. That is. Beautiful. Go to the beginning. This is a video to cover the essentials of how to edit on Premiere Pro. Zooms in on your face. We're going to get rid of that because that's that. Okay. I think that sums it up. So once you're done with your editing, you can push Control M. That'll take you to the export tab, or you can just click export up here, or you can click file, export. And then I think, yeah, export media. All it takes you here, come up here, toss in your file name. Uh, practice. I'm not even going to uh, export this. Then you're going to pick your file. I have a file set up in my videos tab. So when I go to videos and go to ready, it'll all get downloaded in there. That's my most recent video. And then you can check all your settings. Everything looks good. You can click export. Now right here, it says 60 FPS. 1920 by 1080. If you have a different aspect resolution or you want lower frames, or maybe your frames is lower than 60, so you need to edit it. Click on your timeline, go to sequence, sequence settings. Right here, you can change your frames. As far as I know, it only goes up to 60. That's the highest I've ever seen it. And then you can change your frame size and everything. So average is 1920 by 1080. If you're making a TikTok video, it's going to be the exact opposite. 1080 over here, 1920 right here. That'll throw it into TikTok. We're talking about editing videos for YouTube. Then your uh, sample rate for your audio. Put that at the highest if you want. Leave it default. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't make too big of a difference. But that's that. So your video's edited. Good job. Wait, one more thing. I forgot. Rotation. A lot of YouTubers will rotate. All sorts of stuff, and you'll see what I mean. I spin this, my character goes spinny. Like like an old film on whatever. So, we'll actually do it to the text. What YouTubers sometimes do, we'll get rid of the scale for now. Uh, let's put the scale at zero. Stopwatch, so it's at zero. Go over to the, almost the end, we'll set the scale to 100. So, that text pops out of my forehead. And we can go back to the beginning, rotation, it's at zero. Back over to this thing, put rotation at, you can type out 360 degrees for each rotation. 
Or you could do it the easy way and just type in something like, I want it to rotate two times, I just click 2x. That'll rotate two times. For the essentials go back of how to edit. Thing goes whack crazy spinning. All right, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you learned something. Maybe I helped you make your first YouTube video. If I did, please consider subscribing. Because I need subscribers. And catch y'all dudes later. <laughs>